Hey YouTube, it's um, Coop the Eye Helper, and today I'm going to show you how to SSH into your iPod without um, without using your Wi-Fi, which means you won't have to use Win SCP. Because um, some people are getting um, what do you call it, error messages when they use Win SCP, so they can't connect. So basically, all you're going to need is uh, your iPod, of course, and and this thing your USB cable but um, this way is you're just going to use your USB cable so it's not going to ask you for a password or anything so you're going to plug your iPod up into, the, into your USB port I think it's going to pop up or whatever sorry about that camera kind of just fell down okay and then basically disk aid is going to be the program that we're going to use the USB cable and everything I found an error. You just need to have your iPod. You're not going to connect your iPod until you open up Discade. Uh, if iTunes pops up, you just minimize it, whatever. I'll provide a link to, to this Discade thing. But what you're going to do is you're just going to go to um, this website. I'm going to provide in the link description. Okay. You're going to click download for PC. You're gonna click uh, download if you're a Mac or if you're a PC. You're gonna do whatever. I'm a PC, so I would click PC, and you just start doing the download process. Anyways, enough with that. We're going to do Discade. Uh, so you're gonna just double click on the application when you're done installing it. Okay. No, don't plug your iPod or iPhone into your computer yet. You can have it already, but just don't plug it up. So. Uh, yeah, and this thing wants to boot. It will boot. My computer's demented. Don't know what it's doing. Okay, and then this is what it basically looks like. So, looking for iPhone or iPod Touch, please plug it. When they say please plug it in, I have no clue what it means. Please plug it. I mean plug it in, and then now you will plug your iPod in. And I just plug mine in. Um, it will start to move like that, and it will recognize. If anything pops up, you can exile. You know, you can exile of iTunes. Now, when you first use it, it won't do. It won't go to where my folders are. So you're gonna have to click the down arrow down here, at the bottom here. Oh, iTunes just popped up. Minimize that. You're gonna have to go down to this down arrow here. Click it, and make sure yours is gonna be on disk aid folder. So it's gonna yours is basically gonna look like this, bam. No, you're just gonna click on the down arrow there, and when you click on it, you're gonna click root or media. Root is for most things. It's gonna come up with a pop-up saying, "Do you know what you're doing?" Messing with the root um, portion can end up with an improperable device. Which will mean you have to restore it. Just click OK. All right, and it'll load you up. All right. So let's say I'm gonna do example and go into far. Same thing as the Win SCP client, besides so just doing it through USB, I'm gonna click on VAR. Okay, just double click on whatever you want. And uh, I'm sorry, guys. Let me uh, do root. You're gonna have to click on your first thing, whatever you clicked on over here. So click on that root. That's what I want. Then you're gonna click uh, whatever you want. Second, I want VAR. So you're gonna click that. And then say I wanted to go into I don't know mobile. You're gonna click on var over here again. Double click. Then you can click on your thing. Okay, bam. I have nothing in there. That's how you really use it. So let me go back to root. Uh, let's say I wanted to go to library. Uh, let's say I wanted to go from there to. Uh, I don't know. Uh, wallpaper. You have to go to click on library over here. Remember, double click. And then you should be able to go to your. You should be able to go to your. Click library over here. And then you should be able to go to your wallpaper. As I am, and now basically, as you see, you see all my things here. But um, guys, if you have any questions on how to use this disk aid program, 
to comment on the video. I'll make sure to reply to you. Or you can private message me. That's probably the best way. Because that's going straight to my inbox. And it's always alerting me when I have new messages. Uh, this is Coop the Eye Helper, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe on this video. If you have any questions on this, message or comment. Message, please. That's probably the best way. Uh, if you guys want any other tutorials or anything, comment on my page or private message me. I'll be sure to get a video of um, how to do that. Anything iPhone or iPod Touch related, I'll get that up there. Guys, I'm trying to work on getting an iPhone. As of now, I only have an iPod Touch second generation. I'm trying to get an iPhone. So, uh, I'm going to be posting a, a donation link. Actually, I'm not going to get into that now, actually. But, um, yeah, guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Scoop the eye helper. Please recommend me to your friends. Please.